I mean, theoretically, this could apply to like any Minecraft. Let me read the tea leaves, homie. I got chicken guts all over the floor. We got to have some fun with them. (laughs) But I need to cook those. I'm hungry. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, kids, whatever the hell else, we come up with an old man, Vin. Here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, in our little tidy studio, doing our thing, switching the bits, joined every week by our man up north, one Jordan Swang in Torontosville, and across the pond, staying up late because he's not that old yet. We still might need to get him a walker because he's coming up on the big 4 <laughs> One Pedro, about two years. Matthias, <laughs> and together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form somebody with the canes already, Cocaine, Voltron. Gentlemen, what's up? What's new? Of course, we're going to talk about the Valve game. Valve releasing a game is news. We got thoughts. But first, what have we been up to? I learned something when I came into the studio. I've been playing around still. This is like week three with that little tiny one liter elite book poking at Prodden. It takes me a while. I actually use shit before I do a video for it. I'm like, hey, I've had this for two days. Let me give you a comprehensive guide on it. Sure, YouTuber. Um... But you just in. unboxed it. That qualifies you for hundred percent. I, I give this uh, yeah. three yes. stone buying recommendation <laughs> guaranteed. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, hashtag sponsored. Uh, yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Alleged, <laughs> probably not. Wait, when we come out, Jim. So, a couple of days ago, I was working on it, playing around with it, and um, I, I was trying to get to Jordan's PC. I got everything set up with a you know a keyboard, mouse, a barrier, IP, so I don't have like a bunch of keyboards and shit floating around. Couldn't get to Jordan's PC and I'm like, what's going on? I battled, I battled, I battled, and I finally got up after like plugging an actual mouse and keyboard into the, the PC running his WebRTC instance, only to find looking on the floor when I was walking back to the tech closet, that little fucker's just been sitting in the middle of the studio on the floor on for the past couple of days. So yes, <laughs> A plus on silence. <laughs> didn't even notice it, didn't even know it was there. Jordan, have you had any stealth PCs floating around your house? Do you got a Raspberry Pi that's been on for like four years? And you're like, wait, ah, there you are. No, but yeah, you know, some, sometimes you do, you do just like find the random shit under. Oh, here, here's like, what makes it worse. I know fuck well that I'd put it in bullshit turbo mode too. So I was not saving power this entire time. Nah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's good and quiet, even if it's in bullshit turbo mode, yeah. you don't really know it's there. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any sneaky floor computers or anything like uh, that. It's yeah, like floor chicken. It, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't compare to wall chicken, though. That's like the superior form of poultry. I was very pleased in that 3D, like, Doom uh, oh, Castlevania. Yeah, the, the, the Castlevania, it had, it, it has it had the, the wall chicken. I, it, like, I mean, you, you had to. I was a little disappointed that there was no wall chicken in, like, the Castlevania anime. That was... Like, they, they, they needed to just, like... Find a whole cooked bird just behind a rock somewhere, and Trevor's just gonna like fucking yeah, just eat knock that down shit. a wall, and there's like a platter with the chicken. I can just see like, like a battle like, like, like right before it goes like, down, crispy. and he's like, "Oh, I'm famished. Hang on one moment." He just knocks the wall up behind him and grabs the chicken. Like, no, no, he just fucking unhinges his jaw and just like stuffs an entire whole chicken down his down his face. That that would cost you a lot if you went to KFC. It would cost you two, as we discovered in the pre pre super shows mm-hmm. and. Chicken is fucking expensive. <laughs> chicken yeah. is pricey, though. Chicken is very Do you have pricey. any PCs that you leave on all the time? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the, 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 yeah the, the, I mean, the TV box is like a PC, but it's also like, you know, server. Whatnot, so it's like running files and shit. Um, I'm very, very bad about shutting this computer down. I know okay. I should do that more often than I, than I do, but, you know, mm. fuck it, I'm lazy. <laughs> all right. Pedro Mateus, the man, you got you, you got glass balls and playing cards. Yes, and uh, the important bit this week is that work has created such a hostile environment that a bunch of the IT team has decided to uh, look everywhere else, <laughs> literally everywhere else. And uh, well, an opportunity showed up uh, also within the NHS, but it's to support the people using Jira and Confluence. It's a more gyro, you say. Oh, yes. oh don't uh, take sorry, that job. Jira. <laughs> you will actually like hate yourself. If no, you no, I want to believe that the NHS bought something called gyro sig J Y R A. It's J I R A. I know. Which, let, let me J- let me have my fan code on. Yeah. Jira. It's some weird shit. It's like Java four. It's yeah, no, it's Jira, but I want to keep calling it Jira because that's how it's spelled. But yeah. 
uh the uh yeah no i i i had an opportunity it's like yeah we need people in this series like as long as you don't mind teaching me i'm i'll gladly learn that so i i'm gonna learn that <laughs> hey yes i mean you gotta be like i i don't know hey, fuck all about this but i'm more body like so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's literally I, oh uh so the uh actual desktop support services are shitting on people from on high we've had all of everything all of our admin rights that we had and access to a bunch of systems just taken away. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, we can stay here, be actively de-skilled, or we can go do something else. I chose do something else. <laughs> Good on you. Hey, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I give it a week. Ma 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 Mazel tov. <laughs> I look forward to your future as a scrum master in the next couple of years. Yes. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, will we ever teach the horse Jira? I don't think so. No, oh God, the, the horse is already running Jira. Why do you think you can't schedule it to do jack shit? Because it's caught in the workflow and it can't escape. It's the Steam Oh, here's the news. Here's the news. I was talking the about sauce. this in the pre pre super shows and like somebody. We were, we were talking about, it might have been VR a couple of weeks back, and somebody just laid, laid down the insider knowledge to us. They're like, nah, man, that next game from Valve, it's called Citadel. It's going to be VR only. And this is how it plays. It's a big, long paragraph. It's in our comments from a video a couple of weeks back. Why are we bringing this up? Well, leaks. It's not Citadel anymore. No. Um, Half-Life 3 originally was a working title, a.k.a. Citadel. Then Neon Prime. Now it's called, not Death Clock, but Death Lock. The next Valve game. 6v6 me, bro. Uh, first person MOBA, fantasy steampunk inspirations, maybe Valve's take on Overwatch with just a little bit of Dota, a couple of that, a hero shooter, of course, but it's going to have those MOBA elements in it. This is like Blades. a smoothie of game types that I don't really fucking care for. I'm not terribly excited about this, but this thing has been actively developed and it's being actively playtested as we speak. It's a real boy, kids. There's actual screenshots of it. Look at that. That's some next-gen TF2-looking bullshit. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it definitely does give, like, the, the TF2 vibes, especially with, like, all, all of the textures and whatnot. Uh, what I want to know is, and I, I, I looked through the Reddit threads, and I couldn't find anyone mentioning it, but if you scroll up a little bit, that image has, like, a bunch of, like, heads up at the top. Are those, like, Dota characters? Do people know who they are? Or are the, is this, like, an entirely new cast? Because I don't know, I don't know shit about the Dota cast of characters. <laughs> this could have, it's like, oh yeah, it's Blorfeo and, and Cramden and all those guys. They're my favorite. Or it could just be some randos. I don't I, know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, it looks, it looks very much like a hero shooter if you've played that orange. Overwatch. That is the fucking Demo Man's orange right there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you've played Overwatch or Paladins, it, it, it very much looks like that. Uh, and, uh, Ah, there was earlier in the week when uh, Marvel, the, uh, what was it, Marvel Rivals came out, mm -hmm. uh, and Nettie's uh, put out, uh, like, the... The non-disparagement uh, clause? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, one of them, uh, like, with, like, Hulk cheeks clapping or something. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no it ass. was because Hulk <laughs> had no ass. <laughs> Okay, okay. I, I want to I bring this up. What is going on with fucking ass erasure in video games? People have like fucking pancake booties, <laughs> and I will not stand for it. You need to have thick, round, voluminous cheeks. We need ga game developers. Do you hear that better? <laughs> Do some squats. But yeah, it is. Uh, they, they specifically disallowed uh, things like Hulk has no ass. This is such a, a mid Fover watch clone. Or uh, Paladins is better than this shit. So, stuff like that. So when this comes out, Valve, is it okay if we use those terms to describe it? <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I think I think they would prefer you to refer to it as a TF2 clone, because that's what Overwatch actually is. Oh, um, yes. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, 6v6 team shooter. I don't know, because we, we've been sort of going through the... Um, there was the... Um, the uh, battle royale fits everyone was all about battle royales for a while and now it's like the abstract extraction shooters and like the the um like the 
lethal company likes like we we have a couple of those coming out now <laughs> do you think a game like this is like too little too late like maybe a couple of years ago no this is uh, welcome like, to fucking valve time 100 yeah, like this, this yeah. might have stood a chance okay we got two problems with this uh, two things going against it yeah like three years ago maybe and like that would have been a real floppy soggy maybe would have got some traction you know in the overwatch crowd and because people were like hey wouldn't it be cool if valve did their own version you know like we got lol or, or have got, something with a single player because that would be a that would be a great way to shit on blizzard if you come out with a maybe. hero shooter that has a single player. maybe here's the other problem here's the other thing all right let's, let's some more things going against it. It's not Left 4 Dead 3. Big minus. It's not Half-Life 3. Also a big minus. Not Portal 3. Big minus. <laughs> and here's the real killer. We all remember the last game. Some of us do. Only a couple of us were allowed to retain the memories. Most of you are unaware that Valve had released another game. But, Artifacts. you know. Yeah. Are you talking about Artifact or are you talking about the Dota Lords, the auto chess one? Yes. <laughs> or, or or Alex or the Steam Deck demo. Ap- ap- aperture, that's aperture that's the thing. The, the the aperture thingy for the Steam Deck that works for as a Steam Deck uh, tech demo. Fine. Uh, okay, if, if we're at the point where we're calling a fucking like introductory, like this is how you use a handheld a game. Sure. I I I, I don't know. I I I, I, I personally it, it, it introduce not... more story about Cave Johnson, so I guess it's technically poor. I'm gonna put some fucking adjacent. story on your goddamn tax forms next year, and you can call it a game, all right? <laughs> yes. What's the lore? What's the lore? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> ben, that is literally what Dungeons and Dragons is: the story attached to tax forms. So <laughs> Jordan, if you're ready to fight, goddamn. Um, I don't know, man. I I wish it was like. Any of the things we railed off, I understand. But I was like, "Hey, let's do something a little bit different." I'm like, "This isn't a little bit different, though." So don't give me that. I mean, I mean, but like, Valve does release stuff with like a high degree of polish. So if this comes out and is just like a good fucking game, then maybe it can get some traction. But like, the the, the other thing too is like, is the inevitable fate of a game like this, like TF2, where it just gets overrun by bots? And mm, yeah, mm. is it going to be a free game? Well, it may, it may eventually, <laughs> will, will it eventually be a free game is the other thing too because valve, valve likes to do that as well or is it valve just genuinely at the point now we're like no we just want to retain people like here because if it's that <laughs> it's going to be shit from day one yeah that's that's why artifact kind of failed <laughs> well i mean Ar- artifact 45 minutes required, per game <laughs> yeah that, that you require people to spend like real fucking currency on right. shit like yeah, no, that, that, it's like that, 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 didn't that was, quite get what made uh what what, what was Hearthstone. that Hearthstone, Hearthstone. So popular yeah, yeah. Hearthstone uh hell, even even uh, the other big competitor to that now like MTG Arena gives you like a decent way to play for free mm-hmm. uh, yep. versus versus with Artifact where like no this is a trading card game you have to like fucking engage with it like a card game uh yeah but, yeah so I mean. Uh, this by uh, we've seen more and more leaks like you know the dam broke then we started getting screenshots now we got multiple screens like well, enough to where uh, apparently this has been released uh, it's being play tested by valve employees and friends of valve employees no oh. gabe's mom thinks it's cool 100 percent, 100 percent. not as cool as the chica for deck chiaki chica whatever you say chica chica's calientes well, you know, playing games from your PlayStation on your Steam Deck is pretty hot uh, or in your hands because the Steam Deck just runs a little hot. Anyways, there's a way to do it. It's Chucky for Deck. Uh, they have a new release out uh, and that uh, you can install it via the flat pack. Uh, they have a little, uh, they've added a utility now for extracting uh, your account ID from your PSN account, which is handy if you want to set up uh, Chucky to stream your PlayStation games over the public Internet. Don't really need to do that if you're going over local, but still. Uh, it is it is an advertised feature of PSN, and it's something you may want to do. If you want to like I don't I don't know play Bloodborne on your Steam Deck. Um, <laughs> also, uh, you can uh, what the hell, man? Some, I need to have I gotta have a PSN account to sign into PSN. That's bullshit. I know it's fucking it's yeah. so terrible. <laughs> oh, um, fucking so. They, they also have some uh, zooming <laughs> options as well. If like games aren't scaled to the Steam Deck appropriate size, you can zoom in and be able to read stuff because you are an old person who needs glasses. Um, yeah. And that, that's it for, that's it for this release. Uh, bet easy, easier play over the internet is base is a pretty, is basically the killer feature of, of Shiaki here. So, yeah. Oh, I think Pedro might 
argue. <laughs> well, I did find one thing because in the announcement at the top, they have note pipe wire is required for app image. For Linux, pipe wire is required for the dual sense haptics. So I figured, you know what? I have a dual sense. Let's uh let's try and make the haptics work. So I fired up Spotify, I fired up uh, QPW graph, and I said, you know what? This uh the uh, the dual sense it shows uh because it has a stereo uh headphone connector right there. So you got a little hole. Uh, so what we'll are the, the rear left and rear right um, channels connected to? So I wired uh, Spotify to those channels and the haptics went tzz, 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 along with the music. So what that's song what they do. Did you pick? <laughs> I may or may not have put it on my crotch. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, what, 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 yeah, but what song? Uh, that was it. My crush, Two tickets my, to paradise. Beatles. I think that was the one that was coming up next on Spotify. <laughs> my, 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 well, like, okay, you said you said the Beatles, but if, if you followed that with by like by Nicki Minaj or something, I would have fucking believed that All that right. was like a real ass fucking song. I, you you had me in the first half. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. <sighs> that's got to be uh, remote PSN. Like if that's the thing you want to get into the trouble, like it's just another testament to how versatile the Steam Deck is, and uh, shit just keeps popping up like this. And that's not only is it a very very good portable handheld gaming PC. It's also a really bitching tinkering device too. And it's got people playing around with Linux for the first time, which I'm also a huge fan of. However, you need to punch <laughs> more wood on things yes. that I, everybody's favorite company. <laughs> you can read into things and then you can do what this uh, particular person on our steam decided to do, which was, uh, Apparently, uh, while uh, looking into claim uh, 500 mine coins, yes, mine coins. Mine the, coins. Uh, the <laughs> it's not pay to win if you buy the currency, right? They're, they're, use, listen, yeah. they're, not, okay. they're not your coins, they're mine coins. Mine coins. Yeah, it, it's the premium currency for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And it, it underneath the, uh, the claim button, they saw that it said for Xbox Series, X and S, Xbox One, Windows PC, or Steam. Hmm. Now, uh, of course, uh, there's a bunch of people already um, calling that into question. It's like, do you think it's m it maybe, just maybe a mistake? Nope. Because <laughs> there's, uh, mine coins are also used in Minecraft um, adventure mode or RPG, whatever. Basically, the standalone side Minecraft game player. that is on Steam. That one is on Steam, and it does have mine coins. And you, so it might have just been a bit of a hiccup that they used the same text for both. So maybe not an actual thing. We don't know. Your Honor, also I may be a simple <laughs> country lawyer. Allow me to point you towards the end user license agreement for fucking Minecraft. Okay, not summary. Introduction. Hmm. <laughs> what does that say, Pedro? Uh, in the introduction, uh, if you buy Minecraft or use any of our services, yeah, or if you he's click been the distracted. Well, I got to do the right thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. If you've purchased our games through a platform that does not require a Microsoft account, such as Sony, PlayStation, da, 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 if you have the platforms, the terms will apply. Yes. I mean, like, yeah, but I, yeah, like I said, uh, Minecraft Adventure Mode, or yeah, I think it's called Adventure th Mode. This is just from Minecraft. Is, yeah, this is, this this is the all-encompassing EULA. I mean, it, and it, I mean, theoretically, this could apply to like any Minecraft. Let me read the tea leaves, homie. I got chicken guts all over the floor. We gotta have some fun with them. <laughs> but I need to cook those. I'm hungry. <laughs> Confirmed. You heard it here. Pedro has told you Minecraft coming to Steam. Yeah, th that's the thing. There's already a Minecraft game, not the Minecraft, but a Minecraft game on Steam. So it may have just been a hiccup. But Bedrock Edition is. The well, it's one. the one that has all the kids playing it on yeah. their phone, and it has the ray the, tracing. The one people it's the, under the age of uh, 35 play. Yes, it's, it's uh, the one that has NVIDIA RTX. It's the one that has proper controller support, because, yeah, it's the, the console version. So, yeah, the, there are some advantages, and if it does end up coming to Steam, then, hey, at least it's some kind of mine other like actual legitimate minecraft on steam that's not uh any of the unity clones that people have repeatedly attempted to put out <laughs> especially the two that are like 
have a beef with each other. Well, those are the open source <laughs> yes. ones, right? That's my, yeah, that's the, my the two, and like... Yes, yes, the two open source ones with like six players in between both of them. Like, have beef. It's adorable. It's mind test and the other mind test. Right. <laughs> my, 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 mind test plus plus or some shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it's not... This wouldn't be the first game that Microsoft has on Steam. And, you know, as, as they've learned from this whole debacle with uh, Game Pass and having to shutter a bunch of studios, turns out that if you want to make money off of games, you need to, like, sell them to people. So, you know, yeah. put it, put it, putting it, putting it on as, as many storefronts as possible. It's the new Microsoft. Yeah. They're here. They, they care about your money. Yes. Minecraft Dungeons. That's the name of the, <laughs> the game that's already on Steam. That's the one. Mm. I don't <laughs> okay. know. Do you think we'll, we'll actually see like Linux, Linux ports? Because like the reason we're bringing this up, because Microsoft has been pretty upfront, like with Master Chef and stuff like that. They're like, hey, we're going to make sure it tries to run on Steam Deck. <laughs> that's the thing. It's uh, bedrockeditions.net. Mm-hmm. So unless they port that to .NET Core, probably not going to be native. <laughs> I mean, Proton exists. Like, you think they're they're porting Master Chief Collection to fucking .NET Core? <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, no, 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 no. They, 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 no, they ported Halo over to JavaScript. It just runs in a fucking yes. browser. It, it, no, you still need to use Wine because it fires up Internet Explorer to run Halo. Edge. <laughs> <laughs> no, Internet Explorer. Oh, I use X, baby. Let's just listen, go. Listen, right. the development cycle came before Edge came around, so they built all that tech on the old Internet Explorer. It's just how it is with Microsoft, <laughs> right? Let's do it. Coming up next, uh, every now and then, uh, a couple of times during the week, I like to head over to Steam Store, and I go to Categories, and I go to Linux OS, and then I sort just by new. And I scroll through. Book by its cover, man. You, you sell me, you get me to mouse over it. If I see like a weird, like, or just like a good looking thumbnail picture, then I see this diseased Mr. Potato Head looking motherfucker. Like yeah, somebody needs to them. go to the doctor about that nose. <laughs> I'm saying, man, I'm like, That's okay. That's a pickle. That's like an What's actual going on here? Then I, then I come to the page and I'm like, spanking runners. And it's in four by three on the trailer. I'm like, is this some hipster pixel retro? It, it says it's arcade racing in a bright and unusual world. This is not very bright for me, anyway. Um, <laughs> the, the robots have captured something, I don't know, an electro zombies exclamation point. Apparently, this game's been lost to time. It came out somewhere around like 2001. And uh, Jordan, who was this from? This is from the people who brought you Vangers. Oh, I mean, I, I, that fits. I was like, I wonder yeah. what Vangers would look like in 3D. Oh, just like drugs, it, it, but in 3D. Like, it, right. it is just straight up 3D Vangers, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it, it came out to a PC only release. And like, I was like, I went searching for this. I had to like dig around for this. Like, one, I found a post it's, it's, on Reddit. It's an obscure Russian game, right? Dude, like, yeah. It was available in English on PC, though. Ah. It was. Uh, in fact, in fact, Jordan, you can, uh, I, I can get you a. Box copy right now, brand new. Hey. <laughs> wow, okay. five whole euros. Well, so, somehow the guy looks even worse on that CD cover. He's just like, ah, oh, double kill me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they stuck with it. They stuck with it, man. I, I wonder God, if they the guy had, like, in the back is like still on meth though. He's he my favorite. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, it is kart racing, uh, single player, and it, it's four ninety nine. It's like one of those like, mm, all right, yo, oh, there. This is like much danger. Uh, just because it's green, right? I associate the yeah, green. Yeah, and it's it. top down. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. green and top down, so it's Avengers. <laughs> but it's just that old school, late nineties, uh, like whatever PC game. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were in spindles at like Radio Shack, and you're like, and they're ten bucks each, right? So you're like, I'm gonna buy a computer game because I have ten dollars. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, sometimes they're DSX, and sometimes they're this. Mm. Fair. <laughs> now, but you yeah, think no, this is good for game preservation, huh? It is because you have a team that actually found their old game. It's like, ooh, we can make this run on modern systems and put it on a modern platform and allow people to actually play the game in 2024. Which, by the way, you need to uh, amend the uh, the Steam Store page because uh-huh. that that says May 14, uh, 2024. It came out in 2001. Well, it's so, that uh, version of the game. <laughs> this is the remastered Enhanced Edition. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have remastered anywhere in the name. <laughs> yeah, no, just, uh, just, you know, tell people it's an old game and it's working and it's, you know. Dude, I don't available. think anybody hits that fucking trailer. Like, I don't think somebody's like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> this, so, someone had like a very vivid sense memory upon seeing that trailer and they're like, this is the thing I'm trying to remember. 
I yes. played this when I was like a child and Dude. I don't remember it. Um, <laughs> there's that link that uh, yeah. uh, Reddit post that Ven uh, put in the show notes. That that is that person's like oh shit yeah no that's the one <laughs> this this is like I ran across this like uh, like searching for information about the game and like this is on the first page of the Googles and it's like yeah did I just have a fucking fever dream like back in the early two thousands it was like a, a three D cart and like shit was all fucked up and weird and zany tracks I don't know and people are like legitimately guessing and somebody finally found it and preservation's a good topic because boom check this out. Samon Gonki. They're good about this type of stuff, dude. Uh, Moonshine Runners, Spanking Runners, uh, they released the, uh, much like with Avengers, there's an open source engine mm -hmm. that you can download and go play with yourself available for Linux and other operating systems and, and its it, competitors. It is the, the engine, they just release it for the community. It's like, hey, we found it. We got it working on modern systems. Here you go. Yeah, it's a steal too, man. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that's kind of the magic of SDL2 is like, hey, we can just drop this in our code base and all of a sudden it works magically on everything. Yeah, this is like the best case scenario for game preservation is when the developer isn't a dick and don't have dick uh, publishers uh, dicking people over. From their uh, dick ships. Hey, dude, yeah. It's going to take me a long time to add the dick bell in post, right? So tone it the fuck down. I'm already at like three dings. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, they have the game. They've made the game available. You can buy it and you have the source code. And it's open source. And yeah, no, the best case scenario right what? here. <laughs> in my brain, I'm like, here's a list of famous dicks that I like. <laughs> Dick Cavan, Dick Johnson, Dick. <laughs> now, am I committed enough to keep it going? Right, that's, that's, where, that's where I'm at. <laughs> how, how far can we take the Dick train? <laughs> Good job. Uh, thanks for making that and releasing the open source uh, engine bits. Now, good news, everyone. You want to be a Shogun Samurai? Mm, I, I I would like to be some sort of neck chopping, neck snapping ninja monster. Uh, perhaps I could play uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, or I could play this instead. Ghosts of Tsushima. <laughs> or the fun one. The fun <laughs> one, yeah. Uh, director's Cut. It's coming out on PC. It was originally a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, and, PlayStation uh, 4. PlayStation 4 exclusive. And Sony's doing their best to uh, keep it in the Sony sphere. Uh, we got a little post on t uh, on Twitter, and it, uh, it also got moved into uh, Steam as well. Links to all this stuff in our show notes. But they're saying... Hey, it's coming out. Here's what you can expect. By the way, we are supporting the Steam Deck. Um, it is going to be listed as unsupported because of the multiplayer features require uh, PlayStation Network integration, which is only available under Windows, which I, yeah. I, 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 which I don't <laughs> understand. Because th there were some people in the Reddit threads who were like, oh, maybe it has to do with anti-cheat for some fucking co-op non-multiplayer versus game. But, you know, it's something something PSN that they're, they're all about this shit now. They're trying to inflate their numbers. Um, then has a very salient point about it's probably about cross. I mean, I get a very but, boring. Gun. But no, 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 no. We got to ride the hate train, man. I know, <laughs> I know. We, we can't, we can't <laughs> let inconvenient things like facts and and, 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 and and to like get in the way of a good old hate boner. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it could be for things like devious cross play and malicious saves. For crossplay cross with Sony, <laughs> the uh, Pedro, historically Pedro, anti crossplay. These, these fucking company. saints brought us the Memory <laughs> Stick Pro. How yes. dare you? <laughs> the, you know the the company that just we outright refused to have uh, Rocket League crossplay with Betamax. everyone else. <laughs> they, they they won they won on Blu-ray though. They did win yeah. on Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they, they, they won that one. Uh, but yeah, no, it's. The whole, yeah, no, it, it requires Windows to access the PlayStation Network integrated features. You can't help yourselves at this point, can you, Sony? I can, I can just hear Come the on. Mac users screaming out of your window to eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't hear them over their M1s. I suspect that the uh, if people keep being complacent and there there is a vocal minority of people out there going, eh, I'm tired of uh, the PSN requirement controversy. It's a free account. You can just make one. If you keep doing that, Sony is just going to straight up require people to pay for PS Plus when uh, to play 
Sony games online on PC in very short order because gonna, that seems to be they, where they're fucking going. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're probably going to do that anyways, regardless, yeah. because, you know, fuck you, give us money. That, that, is, that is the strategy. Um, I mean, and yeah, in, in terms of discoverability for this game on Steam, because it's going to show up as unsupported, it's going to get deprioritized in rankings as well. So I don't know what that actually means for how well Ghost of Tsushima is going to do financially on the PC, but... I mean, no one's buying PS5s anymore, so they got to try something, right? Um, anything that gets more PlayStation, anything that breaks exclusivity Cursed on consoles, solid. like I'm down with, you know, I bought the Spider-Man, I bought the God of War. I don't know if I'll buy this. It's like, I don't, maybe. I mean, it looks kind of dope. It's and the single pro- player. You don't need the account for a single player, so. Eh? Yeah, but we can't bring that up. We got to be mad. Um, now, <laughs> I mean, you, you might want to experience this co-op. It's a very pretty looking game. Then, then go get a fucking PlayStation Five. All right, <laughs> fuck. I, I, this is I not can't. hard I'm to poor. figure out. All I can, I spent all my money on that on Linux a hacking device you bought to play games on. <laughs> yeah, well, well, in, in between cracking Wi-Fi passwords, I do want to try playing your Ping One Flopper games. Zero or whatever. It is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm taking my PC out to steal people's cars. <laughs> yes. I have to wheel out my full tower. You're hacking your PSN <laughs> networks, fucking, man. D, d, I, I have to, like, fucking break into the car to plug my computer into the fucking car battery so I can use it to steal the car. <laughs> so the good news is um, a couple of people tested this, and apparently this thing runs like the business on Steam Decks by all reports. Like, really easy to get a solid 30 FPS, and if you want to dick around a little bit, you can get up to 40, like a stable 40 minus like some of the cutscenes using FSR three, but that's pretty good. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. I might enjoy something like this. I don't know. Like I want more stuff from everybody coming to PC. Is, Delta, what Pedro said, would Sony ever try? Would I put it above Sony trying? No. <laughs> <laughs> would it ever of work? course they're gonna try <laughs> and would if it ever people work? get complacent with it uh, no i don't want i don't want to conflate logins <laughs> with having to pay because do you know that's like oh you know what i'm really upset I, what i have to log into steam in order to play games the fuck man but if you want to play games on steam you should but, uh, but if i want to use the <laughs> multiplayer functionality of uh playstation well, so so here's the thing. They already do. Do they already charge for that on PlayStation? Like you, that's you, a console yeah. thing. Yeah, you got to play. If you want to play online games on console, you need to pay for PS Plus. But it's just exactly. like, like and, and so, way better. <laughs> and so extending that logic, yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, if you want access to the PlayStation Network services, you gotta you gotta pay us some money. Yeah, no, it, that seems to be where they want to go because based on. A, why allow people on PC to continue playing those games that are, you know, Cloud using saves. the PlayStation, PlayStation Achievos, network, which They're are huge. actively using the PlayStation network and the PC players don't have to pay while all the PlayStation players have to pay. No, we're going to so, get, let me get down to the point. Why? Because we're a fucking rounding error compared to PlayStation 5 <laughs> users. We don't even register. That's the reality <laughs> of it. We're such an <laughs> insignificant fucking number to Sony that they've taken... 30 years to get around to doing PC ports. They're like, eh, sure. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> and to, to, to that point, I think they'll try it. And then when they get the yeah, back, like, like, initially no, what no I said, ports. would I put it above Sony? No, but also will that ever work? No, but yeah, I, I think, I think that may end up being a pyrrhic victory for everyone involved. Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost Tsushima. Of su- <laughs> ghosts of sashimi i would i would fucking go to a restaurant that served ghosts of sashimi yeah i but- <laughs> like that would mind playing the online co-op but it's look at this the steam deck is protecting you from sony you don't there's you, you can't even do it unless you put windows on your deck then you got other fucking problems you got windows on your deck go see a doctor it's it's like a cross for vampires you hold up your, your steam deck and it just repels sony employees yes uh interesting game it's 59.99 for like an 11 year old game uh i'm going to put it on my wish list along with uh, the zombie game and uh, maybe Ratchet and Clank because I'm not paying full fucking price. Sorry, Nixies. Uh, <laughs> if you, this shit got released within like a month, I wouldn't mind paying full price for it. But and Spider Man too. But I already bought Spider Man and God of War. But that that was my contribution to like Sony put more PC games out there. But yeah, that four to seven year old games, seventy five percent off. We'll talk about well, it. yeah, no, that that too is accurate to the console pricing because uh, prices don't drop on consoles, but they do <laughs> on PC games. <laughs> Eventually, 
<laughs> we got a big update. Massive update. For another Valve title. Of course we're talking about Left for Bread 2. <laughs> Left for Dead 2. Ginormous. Barely fit it all on one page. So big. <laughs> I'm and sorry, so, my eyes just glazed over from the wall of text. It is I, the I just... wall of text from hell, man. Uh, <laughs> so they, they fixed not one, but two exploits that could remotely crush servers. Okay, good. Yay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And one that I had a moment with, because it is uh, directed towards us Linux gaming human beings, they fixed oh, no. music <laughs> not playing at the main menu on Linux, to which my brain immediately clicked on, because <laughs> we would play it infrequently enough, but with frequency where I'm like, it doesn't make any sound. And Jordan would go, no, no, there's no sound in the intro, like the main menu. And I'm like, right. Which made me, when we're playing co-op or whatever, we'd get into the game and I'm like, hang on guys, give me a second. I'd have to go aim my gun at not the fucking floor and like set the volumes and shit for the stream. And of course, within that three to eight fento seconds, everybody else is scattered and run off without me. And I'm like, God, <laughs> And yeah, we're, we're all just jockeyed or like... We're just doing whatever, whatever yeah. right? I'm like, well, <laughs> all right. So uh, it d- doesn't work on uh, Fedora, apparently. No, I, at least for me, I started it and I got the audio from like the intro videos, the Valve uh, one and the game intro video proper. <laughs> yeah, and then you get to the menu. It's like, okay, yeah, the sound effects are there. The music, still not. Huh. So <laughs> I didn't test it because I didn't feel like downloading 15 gigs for. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I still have I, I it didn't... installed from last time. Right. So that's why <laughs> I, I think I might still have it installed as well. But I also did not check. But also, like, I do you, I, I mess with like the in game music settings a lot in games. So, like, I may have turned off the like in menu music at some point and just like, no, no, never... the, like the, the, the game music because there's only one music uh, audio yeah. slider. But the in-game music works. That one works. Uh, you, yeah. When the tank comes, you can hear the... Mm. Uh, but the... I just, yeah, I've never had music, like, just... music or anything in the fucking <laughs> opening menu. I just I just knew that. I was like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Like, I noticed it because I had to calibrate that shit. When we, I had to wait until we were in the game. Which really, <laughs> people, no. like... I, I guess we gotta go back now and replay through the entire fucking game because it's been... Now, With now intro it's been music, fixed. Yeah. Yeah, Clearly, it's, it's been fixed. It was it was completely unfinishable. <laughs> That's gonna do it for our steamy bits this week. Moving right on into uh, something that I saw an update for, and I'm like, "That's still being developed, huh?" Yeah, I had no idea. Fresh out of 2010, ladies and gentlemen, Stunt Rally 3.1. Look at all that stunting and the rallying right there. Not one, but eight new cars, one new track, and 8K skies. The fuck's that even mean? 8K skies. Could they not put in like, skies? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 8192 by 8192 skybox. <laughs> now, let's say I was trying to do an imaginative joke and we were talking about 8,000 <laughs> different skyboxes. <laughs> Maybe they do. Maybe it's just the teeny tiny little ones that they just. Bunch of things, a couple of things they're working on. Now, this one's even got a Linux binary release for the download option, to which I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. And I was like, yeah, I guess why well, I just compiled it. Didn't think twice about it. And this is definitely a blast from the past. We're talking, you know, like no joke. I went and looked it up. It was like 2010. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like a long time ago until you do the maths on it. You're like, oh my God. Uh, that was 14 years ago. Still yeah. using Ogre for the rendering and uh, V Drift for the simulation. Has online multiplayer, but it's only peer to peer. Apparently, there was a server even way back in the day, which I vaguely remember, but nobody used it. And they. Basically, do a paragraph explanation of like, which Gabby has to set one up. Fair. <laughs> Pedro, what is Stunt Rally? Would you call it like old school, like the first track mania? Uh, it's it's a bit more simulation y than track vania. Uh, track vania. Fuck yes. Let's do this. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> track Bl- Bl- Bloody uh, tires. <laughs> If you, yeah, if you played, if you remember, uh, in Track Mania United Forever, there was uh, the coast mode that had the really heavy really skinny cars that you had to like be more considerate with the braking and the more slightly more realistic physics uh that's that's the level of physics in uh, a stunt rally and i wish they had a mode where the physics were more like trackmania stadium because that would actually be fun <laughs> I, I i don't appreciate the 
overt simulation mode that they had, which is a shame because it, for as open source games go, uh, Stunt Rally 3 was always one of the more that's my favorite car everything ones well they 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 added they added what like hovercrafts and hover cars and drones i want to know if they're full eels yeah they they have the like different car classes one of which is sci-fi which is where the uh, the spaceships and whatnot come along it's a motor that's a weird (laughs) camera placement to drive oh yeah i i I remember playing full throttle huh (laughs) Oh, dude, we can we can cut, we can do like Heat Vision and Jack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. I like how the motorcycle doesn't have anyone riding it. No, nope, it's haunted. <laughs> it's, it's, it's RC from Transformers. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, it just never got any traction, man. It might have been, you know, it probably has a lot to do with what Pedro brought up. Is when you get a game like this, you want. Uh, you want the bullshittiest of arcade physics. That's all you're yes. willing to tolerate. Dude. You don't, you don't, there's no, don't even bother trying to put a whiff of realism in arcade racing games. It never works out right. Except <laughs> look it up. Go Code Masters tried lists. it. It didn't work very well for them in that one time they did. Yeah. Go play yeah, it, no, it. Download it, it. The physics need to be relaxed a little bit and it would be, I think, in my opinion, at least perfect. <laughs> um the uh developer of uh, speed dreams hits me up on mastodon occasionally when i make a post like hey we're playing track mania come play which he hears uh i'm open to solicitation about games we should be playing on tuesdays and fridays that's apparently what he reads <laughs> he's like hey you, you can play stunt rally and i'm like do you got loops in arcade mode and he's like you can cut it on like easy <laughs> and here's me in easy and like fucking speed dreams boom 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 wall yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay so uh, you know doing like the hammer on the brakes turn the car around and do the slide around the turn you hammer on the brakes the back of the car comes out and you uh, go <laughs> fun times had by all have either of you ever attempted to make your own video game, like a uh, top-down RPG? Did you ever have that thought as a kid, like some, uh, you know, paper and like pen, like, hey, I can make my own Zelda game. Watch this yeah. shit. Got it. Uh, the idea crossed my mind, and then it's like, oh, that would require a lot of work, and I'd have to do everything. So I said, no, nah, fuck it. <laughs> I, got <laughs> about, <I'm> lazy. <laughs> I got about a third of the way through a design doc when I was a kid, and then, I, then my ADHD took over. All right. Why do we bring this up? I don't, I don't know. Pedro, why? <laughs> yes, uh, apparently, uh, Baku Starver, that's the name I was trying to read, uh, <laughs> uh, decided to basically create a way to get RPG Maker to run as well as it can on Linux. It's a collection of shell scripts, uh, the, actually, the install uh, script and everything else very well labeled out and uh it's mostly javascript so uh yeah it is a think of it like um i want to call it like scum vm but it's nowhere near as uh developed as scum vm but it is as it currently stands it is just collection of scripts that allow rpg maker mv and mz uh games to run on linux which Apparently, according to uh, them, uh, they run all of them, which is bold claim compatibility. See, wise. look, it even has horror <laughs> characters at the end. Oh my god, it's it's Patrick. <laughs> no, um, and they're they're all, they're also compl- com- uh, claiming in some cases two to four times better performance than under Wine, which is not nothing. Mm-hmm. So you know, if, if if you are a big RPG maker fan then or you're a fan of rpg maker games then and you're on linux this might be the way to experience them without having to i don't know deal with slow slow turn-based combat i I don't i don't know where the performance (laughs) consideration really comes in because it's 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 dragon quest 4 right like that's that's what rpg maker is basically yeah uh yes (laughs) it's like um uh, final fantasy one through Five, six. I, 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 I remember it was like specifically a, like inspired by Dragon Quest, but like yeah, it's yeah. A, a games of of that vintage. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's like early nineties. Um, 
JRPG type of situation. Not all of them. Uh, there's a lot of uh, games made in RPG Maker that are not RPGs in what you uh, call a traditional sense. But yeah, no, the idea like of Doom? having scum. Hmm? Like Doom? Doom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doom is an RPG, as we've established. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the idea of having something like Scum VM, but to deal with RPG Maker games, maybe even including uh, Game uh, Game Maker Studio or those engines of that ilk, having that get fucked. <laughs> Because there there are people out there, and there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to it, uh, of people that just play RPG Maker games. That That's what they do. That's their thing. So having a way, especially older titles that may not work as well nowadays, just having a way to play those, that'd be awesome. FNA is also similar in that vein in that like you can basically just kind of drop FNA in to your game directory and for the most part it will just run your XNA game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean Yeah, just dro drop in replacements. It's there. I want to give it a mention because I know that's a uh, man, some people's first start like cuz it's very accessible. Mm -hmm. Just RPG maker and I'm like hey, I can figure this out and that could lead to greater things. You could create the next um Lethal Company. Jet. Yeah. Yeah, that's certain. Got the get kids started off making Robux, blo Robux, mods. Roblox, like Robux. Now he's making them Robux. Oh now he's making yeah. those real bucks. I mean, he's made a lot for of real, for real. You can buy even more Robux now. Now, uh, you do know the three of us are definitely fascinated by VR. Yes. Yeah. Completely. Just can't get enough of it. Um, so up next, I would like to present uh, something that I f want to say if if I had to react with my feelings that feeling would be bullshit however there, these facts there, might get in the way there is some data although i do take issue with some of the collection as we'll get into so uploadvr.com they posted this uh survey from uh, the pew research center i believe it was um that um was conducted on about 1500 of the richest kids that they can find they don't they don't say where these <laughs> children came from uh, or what their economic statuses are, but there are 1,500s of them uh, between the ages of 13 to 17, 32%, um, yeah. uh, and according to this, 32% of boys and 15% so around, of girls, so around, uh, what, like a quarter of the people surveyed, have played uh, virtual reality games on a uh, smartphone or computer. And you might think, well, that's not, a, that's not a lot, but it is a quarter, so that's more than what you would think um, in this sample size of uh, 1,500 kids. Uh, but um, this could also be counting uh, mobile VR headsets, which, you know, don't require the same level of buy-in that PC-based VR systems do, um, the Meta MetaQuest, Gear VR, all that stuff. Um, and also, according to the polls, yeah, kids just aren't into Twitch. They, they hate it slightly less than the Reddits. <laughs> But uh, yeah, <laughs> that tracks. Uh, I can imagine, especially for Reddit, that is probably a more old audience. But yeah, the, I I did a bit of a look up on eBay. The Facebook Quest One and Two are very cheap. You can get just the headset for like fifty pounds. Uh, for a hundred pounds, you can get the Quest Two with the wiggle controllers. If you go up to a hundred and fifty, you can get the one with the actual proper head strap. Um, and yeah, the, so price wise, and the the one that they have in the article at the top with the the kid playing, that's the Quest Three. So those are the reason reasonably priced uh, VR headsets. They're effectively just Android phones in yeah. your face. <laughs> now, in your face, so, Pedro. No, dude. Yeah. Um because when we think about VR, the three of us, and I think a lot of our audience, uh, when you say VR, bring like our, the cost of that starts with one thousand. Mm -hmm. Because like we want a different type of VR. That's the experience a lot of us are looking for. And um the survey says, you know, they don't ask whether or not they own the headsets. Mm -hmm. This is like, have you experienced the vr so they have access to one they know a guy you know i mean my friends got one i put it on my face and quest headsets man like pedro's pointing out the cheap you can get one for a couple hundred bucks and pop it on have that experience i see scott in the chat realm he's like vr chat and i'm like that's probably a thing <laughs> i know 
I know it exists. I just don't know like to what extent. But 24% does seem about right for the amount of the teenagers between age 13 to 17 who fucked around with one, right? I'm like, yeah, pop the time, play with it. You know, it's not a daily driver, but that kind of, I think that usage pattern would carry across a larger age range if the survey was extended. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Poss and possibly. 24% um, seems okay is like, because again, it's not that expensive. So probably it's, parents bought it and it's just sitting there and they play on, Beat Saber on it. I got, a, I got an update <laughs> uh, coming in from the uh, uh, correction. That's the only thing Scott uses is war. Okay. Got uh, it. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, so the, the, the other thing too is like, you know, v, VR is an activity that you, you got to like kind of exclusively do, right? They, uh, the other, the other um, most of the time spent playing video games, according to the survey, is on their phone or on their console, which generally means that you're not going which is a thing that you can do while doing other stuff, right? Like you can have YouTube videos on, on another device. You could have, there. there's this whole thing about second screen games. I barely have enough fucking attention span to play one game at a time. These motherfuckers are playing like two. I got my main game. <laughs> and then in while the cinematics are going, I play Bellatro on the side or something. What shit. do you think you can handle from the other direction? Because once you get locked into that VR headset, uh, your squirrel instinct can hammer all at once, but it's stuck in there with you, baby. Well, I, th I think that's why like, you would like say, well, if uh, I, I want to be able to squirrel, so I'm just not going to VR. Um, but yeah, I, but but again, like it's one of these things where there are there are other activities that compete with the time required to like do a VR game. So there is, and you make a, plenty, a lot of money. Like that's one of the things they brought up in the study. Like developers doing uh, stuff with the Oculus, and they're like, we getting paid, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty good ROI on that. And 24%, yeah, that looks... Uh, another thing that was interesting to me, like with this breakdown between ages of 13 and 17, again, so we're seeing, you know, 73% gaming console, 70% mm -hmm. mobile phone. I honestly thought the, uh, the old smartphone would be higher than gaming consoles by now, but not by fucking much, apparently. It's just under at 70%. Desktop, laptop, computers, we're hanging in there, man. Us old timers in the squishy <laughs> middle at 49%. And these, these, are, these aren't mutually exclusive either. So like, no, they're not. I'm just reading off the chart, homie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, then we got, you know, our virtual reality headsets at the 24% number. Still getting beat by tablet computing for gaming. So. <laughs> and when you... Okay. So they probably, if they did the uh, thing in... A wealthy side of town, as Jordan <laughs> mentioned, then yes, uh, you probably because I'm looking at that 33% in tablet computers, and I'm going, I don't know uh, if 33% of the people I know have tablets. Most well, of them I, don't. <laughs> how many do you have, Jordan? Be because you can iPod. get them on Amazon for like 70 bucks. Yeah. I, I, I mean, pe people have the family iPad, right? Tablets are cheap but, as fuck. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't say good tablets, homie. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, they don't even have the cheap tablets. The, the people around me, the only ones that have tablets, are. it tend to be the one that have the iPad. Okay, A, and, I need to know how come you hang around between, with so many 13 to 17 year olds. That's the question. <laughs> we'll just shelve that for now. <laughs> No, that's He's the not thing. Allowed to hang out the with thirteen them. to seventeen year olds didn't buy the iPad because they can't afford it. Uh, He's not, it's not allowed with their parents' feet iPad. <laughs> so yeah, no, don't give me that. I'll give you a tablet. You got a tablet. <laughs> I th that's the thing. I even went out of my way to turn my Chromebook into just a Linux uh, two in one laptop that, that I, I use as a tablet. a tablet. But you bought a tablet. <laughs> Well, I also have this. <laughs> Toshiba <laughs> X86 tablet. <laughs> That's just and a, a broken light. laptop. That doesn't count. <laughs> I don't know. I you know what? I, I have tried and tablets and me just don't click. Mm. They they just don't. I love um, them. No. You didn't watch enough DS9. <laughs> I, I, dude, I watched a shit ton of Stargate Atlantis. I wanted those fucking tablets that could hack into the ancient computers and shit. Dude, I remember being a kid watching DS9, just seeing how absurd it was that they had multiple tablets for different things going, bullshit. That's right. 
and here then, I am. Yeah. Like, all right, where's my, where's my, the, this well, tablet? Yeah. And you, you, you can get a, you can get a Kindle seven inch for like 50 bucks or whatever. <laughs> yes. So you, you end the up transparent just smartphone thingies that they have in the expense that that's my approximation of a tablet. <laughs> that, well, that, that, that's the convergence device, right? Cause it's a terminal yes. for a bigger computer system. So mm-hmm. yeah. I always, that, that, that's what I want. The one thing, like, this is, like, such a sci-fi trope is, like, the holographic monitor display that just kind of, that always looks like ass. (laughs) Like, we're never trading one for the other, dude. We're not trading, like, fucking 4 and 8K fucking screens for, like, a blocky-ass glitchy thing just because we can see through it. That's never going to play out like that. It it turns out that keyboard and mouse is pretty efficient in terms of getting shit done on a computer. Yeah. Yes. We, I don't (laughs) think, I don't think we're ever going to be able to beat that. I don't know. Like, I'm thinking, like, maybe by the, like, the Vision Pro 6, once it's light enough, battery enough, high res enough to pop that bitch on, and I cannot tell <laughs> that I'm not in the room with the monitors. Well, the, 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 that's, that's because the Vision Pro 6 also has, like, a heroin syringe that it just, like, jams into your neck. <laughs> Dude, like, but seriously, where's the uh, counter argument once it gets to, because it will get indistinguishable. Like once you can pop that on and you cannot tell your brain meets are being fooled 100%. And you're like, yeah, I'm in the room with my monitors. Yes. Okay. Yes. Galvatron's here with me, but <laughs> sexy. Galvatron. Sometimes he's still there when I take it off too. See, he's wearing underwear uh, at this that time. point, the companies that are developing the VR space are going to be putting ads and forcing shit into the VR spaces that you're in, that you will never forget that you are in that VR space. No, 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 they're, they're, they're going to do the subtle shit where they like do the subliminal fucking advertisements. <laughs> so like, you don't even realize you're being advertised to, but it's fucking Yvonne at Niage at like, <laughs> some sub frequency go into your brain every time you put that, that get a little on. blood you're coming out of your ear you're like oh you're out of here man yeah, yeah you just little, every so often get a little nosebleed some, a little drop. some blood yeah some blood coming out of your eye holes like right right you, 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 you gotta get your nose blood that. pad set up before you get to work like, <laughs> well, no, no, no. I, I, apple sells like the eye napkin that you can use to sop up your right. blood there we go it's it, it, it's fifty dollars a napkin 50, yeah and they're disposable too right no it's yep. use let us know what you think. What do you think these numbers are bullshit? They seem like the console and smartphones seem legit enough to where I believe the rest of them. Do you game on consoles? I know some of you are like, man, I run Linux day in and day out. Been doing it for like a billion, 11 years, but like uh, I game on my PlayStation. Does this count as a console? Fuck no. We are hacking to it. Get that out of my screen. Because <laughs> if the Steam that counts as a console, then yeah, I game on a fucking console. Well, it, 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 it runs console. <laughs> I mean, you can play when, console when, games on it. No, when 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 you go into KDE, you click on console. Yeah, the, then... the, the, the KDE terminal's console. <laughs> I don't want it to crash. <laughs> oh, the, the, okay, then, then you need to install them. I can just put Windows on it. I'll probably fuck it up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you gotta install the MSI Armory Crate first. Cool. And... Right. Oh, oh, at least uh, the Windows drivers for the Steam Deck at least now have proper audio drivers working. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I was going to make, but at least you won't be able to hear its scream joke. Womp, womp. <laughs> oh, no, the fan will still be screaming because there's no fucking thermal management. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. What speed, the, what speed is your fan running? On. <laughs> it's Windows. It's just on all the time. It's on, baby. <laughs> Let us know. If you want to get in contact with us, head over to LinuxGameCast.com. We got a contact button. Fill that shit out. Smash that button, fam. We get an email. And hey, it was pretty good. We might read about it right here on the show. Leave a YouTube comment. Leave a comment on the post on Patreon if you're one of the beautiful people supporting the show. But we got two little bits we want to get into. Uh, starting with VR. I thought this was topical. Tropical. Just a little mention about something we left out. In our conversation about VR last week, mm-hmm. which is uh, important. This is from S- Saberfang X, and they say VR can die. The hidden gems to do in VR with ladies or guys, and the magic of invisible cloths, still a thing. Yes. Zoom type. Uh, How what? much of the uh, cheap <laughs> VR, VR porn, Pedro? Here, I'll, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> yes, when you get I know that cheap what, vodka uh, did this guy drink before what, typing what the fuck? <laughs> It's somebody that watches our show. Just be glad we get what we get. Okay? <laughs> Effort was used here. This wasn't lazy writing. Fair enough. They, they, did, they did try. These are, these are words that you can... We read. appreciate the comment, but uh, 
the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I would like to respond. I'm just unclear as what as to what it's saying. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's about VR porn. It, 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 this porn is like one of the reasons because I, last week I said, you know, <laughs> when's VR going to die this time? When's going to be the death of VR? And like, I think the clap back here is like it's not going anywhere. I don't know how like how widespread is VR porn. That's the, that's the thing. When people started to realize that phone screens were good enough to watch porn on, we started to see the increase of uh, phone screens. Oh, I thought you could. All right. No. <laughs> so phone now, screens. if the All VR right. headset yes, is phone, phone, phone screens, screens. phone yeah. screens. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if the VR headset is now good enough that it can give you high quality porn then yeah, it's probably never going to go away. <laughs> I still maintain, like, all, all, all the juice in VR is, like, all the non-fucking gaming shit that it can be revolutionary to, like, save people's lives and stuff. But, you know, we, 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 gotta, we gotta, like... You gotta imagine, it. though, like, you, you, everybody probably has, like, one friend that is not tech-savvy at all. I know a construct dude who works in construction that I have pretty good friends with, and I don't like to hang out with him. Like, I know if I walked into his house and I saw, like, an Oculus Quest, I knew damn well what that was used for. <laughs> oh yeah, no. There, there, there's like some some sponges with some balloons on like, top. Yeah, of I, 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 I just wouldn't even mention it. I'm like, all right, right on. You do. Like, I wouldn't be judgy yeah. at all, but I'd have no illusions that homie was into to, gaming. To, to to North Rangers point, yeah, you know, was, porn porn does sort of occasionally have the diminishing returns of, oh, that's a little too high quality. Oh boy. <laughs> let's, 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 yes, you want let's, the power of fantasy. You don't want the gritty realism. Then I, then I guess you don't want to be tethered to the ceiling with your. Uh, flight houses and shit so maybe that's the market maybe that's what's keeping these well, things alive you know, it could be a bdsm thing could be could be yes um introducing the eye gag <laughs> I, 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 I mean it's just a gag that looks like an eyeball it's the eye gag. <laughs> but it's 300 bucks As it just looks like an app oh, f- oh f- that actually be pretty good there like we go. a ball gag that looks like an apple done yeah. sold apple get on it <laughs> Like 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 a suckling pig or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Up next, streaming to something. To to Twitch. Yeah. To, to, is it Twitch? I think it's uh, somewhere. Think it's about, right. Yeah. Because whatever. Was, I'll read it. Oh, you read it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll read it while you're reading it to digest. Sure. All right. I was, so this is from Rob. It says I was all set to test AV1 encoding on OBS with Linux, but then reality reared its ugly head. Apparently, even with my fancy new RTX 4070 Super and a bit rate of 13,000, AV1 does match the quality of Hevica at 1440p? Question mark. Do I need any extra Linux configurations? Now, I don't think any of us are like super money bags. We don't have 4070s kicking around. So I don't think we have a specific answer. Do we? Uh, the, I have more questions. What are you? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, oh, wealthy one. <laughs> no, uh, what Here, are you, you streaming money, to? Uh, what are you streaming to? Probably YouTube with a bit rate of 13,000. Could be streaming and, uh, to a Discord, strangely enough. Oh, Discord, yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, that's Discord. where people under the age of 30 stream to now. Yeah, but uh, don't you just do that on Discord, or do you do it? I suppose you can do it from OBS and then stream that they're, into they're, Discord. Yeah. They're, 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 they, they, do, they do have a thing for supporting both. You can do it in the app or you can, you can stream directly yes. to it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, does it match the quality of HEVC? So, H265? That is HEVC. Yes. Uh, the. Hevica. Yes, that thing. <laughs> I'm guessing. At that bit rate, if it's a fixed bit bit rate, then yeah, it should look about the same. Depending on what type of game it is, you need to include like little bits of information because, like, if we're playing fucking um, uh, I I don't know, papers, please. We're we're, we're playing RPG Maker Doom. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right, uh, forty seventy super. Uh, the AV one should I don't know. Someone buy me a 4070 Super, and I'll gladly answer these questions with more authority. Um, <laughs> right, right? Yeah. Uh, according to Pedro, uh, the AMD AV1 in Jordan, that it was uh, supported with Vapi. Mm-hmm. So it's like the stunted, drooling, glue stick munching version of it, but it works. And uh, I know it works for a fact with the Intel, because we did the video on it. Um, here's the big secret. AV1 is almost as good as ATVC5. H265. 
almost. It's getting close. It's frighteningly close. It's almost as good as the thing that's been out for seven years <laughs> that you just couldn't use because it was Peyton and Comfort. That, well, and, and, and I mean, like, I, th- I think that that's why they're able to charge what they do for HAVC, right? They're like, well, yeah, look at, look at what we yeah, got. Nothing, we gotta, in, yeah. During all that time, AV1 is the only thing that's even Remar- remotely yeah. close. Yeah. So, uh, but, yeah, you got something uh, positively fucked, unless you're trying to scream at, like, uh, UHD with a 13,000. Like, you should be able to do 1080p60 or 1080p120 on that uh, high motion. Like if you're at OBS, here's another thing. And you're using an NVIDIA card, disable look ahead, keep psycho visual tuning enabled because that's really just a bullshit NVIDIA speak for AQ string. Set your max B frames if you're doing high motion to two, try to keep it around two, somewhere in there. The or recommendation for just days is usually two. <laughs> Maybe three if it's really uh, kicking up. Uh, don't put it on auto. Don't use look ahead because that uses the uh, NVIDIA tries to figure it out. It's always bad. And your keyframe's on too. But yeah, 1440p, like unless you're trying to do 1440p, 120, you should be getting really good results. Either one, even H- H.264 should be good at that bit rate because that's a very high bit rate. Yeah, that, that, that should, unless you're trying to do really, really high refresh. Uh... All they're playing is Ravercorn. <laughs> they're playing plants like versus a really zombies. high refresh and something with a lot of leaves and foliage and stuff. <laughs> Pokemon Red. <laughs> Good luck. Let us know. More details next time. We'll be able to help you. Yes. Uh, a bit more. A bit more detail. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to help us out, you want to become one of the super awesome, happy, fun time people that support this show. Click on the support tab over at linuxteamcast.com. We have a Patreon, which is the best way to do it. You get a bunch of bonus sodas thrown in your direction, access to the pre-pre super shows in our Discord, and a gang of other shit. Pick your rewards. We'd love that. Uh, we got LibrePay, PayPal, Bitcoin. We got Amazon Wishlist. If you pick up something from our Wishlist, dude, check this out. Send in a note and we'll read it on this show. Try to make it a little bit raunchy, though. Give us some happy, fun things to read. We got a merch store. We got an Amazon storefront. And of course... A humble bundle affiliate link, all available on linuxgamecast.com. We do thank you for your support. Let us do this as long as we have. And of course, Don, with that reset. Don M. 42 <laughs> is a magical number, Jordan. Why is 42 such a magical number? Why does it make your the toes wrong twinkle? Answer to write the life, the universe, and everything. Somebody shows up with 24. Do you charge them double for the bucket of chicken? I'm charging them if they show up with chicken. Big brain, something to think about. Keep you up at night. <laughs> yeah, you, the delivery guy shows up. He's like, okay, now you pay me. Kind of shit right there, shows man. up with some chicken. It's like, give me 40 bucks. And then you take the 40 bucks and the chicken. And run. Yeah, yeah. And yeah run, you, 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 gotta, you, gotta, you gotta pay me to eat this shit, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Leave a good review. Yes. Five stars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, come watch us live. We do this live recording. Saturday, 7, 8, well, yeah, 7.30 if you're a patron. Yeah, there you go. There's another bonus soda. Come listen to the pre-pre super shows and talk with us. And uh, back here on Twitch at 8.30. Jordan does streaming on Thursdays. Are you still doing the Outer outer Any Worlds? Yeah, still still going around with that. Still having fun with it. Right Have on. you uh, uh, gotten out of the, um, the spaceship thingy? I can't uh, remember I le- the name. <laughs> I left the spaceship Gregory. and I'm on the moon... Yeah, there, there's, there's one, one, one of the moons. I'm on one of the moons. There's no mm-hmm. atmosphere. Cool. If you Still want to get your think, yeah. racing on Trackmania, old school Trackmania, none of that new shit the kids are playing. Trackmania 2, the old ancient one. You can play with the old ancient people. I think it's like 30 plus. That's, that's where you need to be on Tuesdays and Fridays. All the information again at LinuxGameCast.com. That's going to do it for this week, everybody. Oh, probably a good time. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Can we just... Uh, it is time. Eight. Time. Cue the music. <laughs> what is time? As I said, you can always find this kicking off right here on Twitch. 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time every Saturday. Come participate if you can dare. Which I just did. I just thrown it down. Get in touch with me. I'm on Twitter. At Vinstone. We got a Mastodon. I'm a Mastodon. Makes sense, right? There is a connection there when you think about it. Just at Vin over at mast.linuxgamecast.com. I got a blue sky, but I don't even know what this has been. Do a search there. 
And of course, I'm in our Discord. I'm in our IRC. Chitting and chatting the other six days of the week. I'm Jordan, and no matter how much bandwidth you give me, no matter how much bitrate, it just won't improve the quality of this. Follow me on Twitter at the Burning Fool, on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodonlinkscamecast.com, and at Blue Sky, Blue Sky at Frojo. Blue, Blue Sky. Sky. Blue this Sky. Is haunted. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and uh, you won't find anything more artifacty looking than my face. So feel free to follow they me on Mastodon. They can add you as a friend on PSN, motherfucker. You can. Yes. Good luck with me accepting it. He, uh, he made his <laughs> his uh, his uh, Bloodborne game. Do it. Bribe him. <laughs> Show but, up to his yeah, house. No, uh, unaccounted for at mass.linuxgamecast.com if you uh, want to follow me on social medias for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for your name and lights or credits. Let's do it. Boop. Lightning credits. <laughs> Illegal in the United States because you'll choke on it. Creditus. <laughs> oh no, I, I got I got some bad creditus in my ball sack. <laughs> well, we got to thank our advisors, Omega Star Theron, our executive producers, Barb Ramp, Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, David, Eshep, Ian, Kurducky, one two three four five, Haplo, Drummer, and our little Nikki fans. They are Super Desto, Empty, Glorious Egg Roll, and Turbo Tree Slaw. And the sea monsters are Reno, Rider X, Machina, Traji, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, System D, Dancing Joe, the Kresny, Oogie One, and. Frostclaw. I don't know, Kim. dude. Like, it's uh, our closed captioning no, system talking about Romeo, karate. I was having a blast Renee, reading that. Leonardo, All of our Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.1, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno. Hey, Craig. Mr. Fox, Fox Fox Fox. fine. John and of course, our fine upstanding cannibals like Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux, Nero, Aldeus, Noctilus, John, Eshep, Gametron, Yuno, and Dias, and Joe, Aromatic, Tav, and Kai, Jorai. We thank you. You're your all support. truly wonderful. We thank you for your service. <laughs> Even if you do watch, use your headset for VR chat. Just then you're servicing in. people in VR. <laughs> people get their rocks off everywhere, so. <laughs> I'll judge. Dine if I were everyone. We'll see you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>